Question one, what action should you take when you see a do not enter sign? A, slow down and proceed with caution. B, turn around or detour as entry is prohibited. C, enter the road if it seems clear. Answer, B, turn around or detour as entry is prohibited. A do not enter sign indicates that the road is closed to traffic in your direction. Question two, how should you prepare for driving when you encounter a divided road ahead sign? A. Prepare for a decrease in lanes. B. Be ready for an upcoming split in the road with a median or barrier. C. Expect an upcoming merge with another road. Answer. B. Be ready for an upcoming split in the road with a median or barrier. This sign indicates the beginning of a divided highway. Question 3. What does an exit sign indicate on a highway, and how should you respond? A. Speed up to reach the exit faster. B. Prepare to leave the highway if it's your intended exit. C. It's a warning sign for upcoming hazards. Answer. B. Prepare to leave the highway if it's your intended exit. An exit sign is used to mark where a road departs from a highway. Question 4. What precautions should you take when approaching a narrow bridge? A. Increase speed to cross quickly. B. Slow down and be aware of the reduced width. C. Stop before crossing the bridge. Answer. B. Slow down and be aware of the reduced width. A narrow bridge sign warns that the bridge ahead has limited width, requiring caution. Question 5. How should a driver react to a merging traffic sign on a freeway? A. Maintain speed and direction. B. Prepare for other vehicles merging onto the freeway. C. Stop and yield to merging traffic. Answer. B. Prepare for other vehicles merging onto the freeway. This sign indicates that traffic will be entering from another road. Question 6. What are the rules for using headlights during foggy conditions? A. Turn on high beams for better visibility. B. Use low beam headlights. C. Headlights are not necessary during fog. Answer. B. Use low beam headlights. High beams can reflect off the fog and impair visibility. Question 7. Describe the correct procedure for parallel parking on a busy street. A. Park quickly to avoid delaying traffic. B. Signal, then carefully back into the space while watching for traffic. C. Park with two wheels on the curb to leave space for traffic. Answer. B. Signal, then carefully back into the space while watching for traffic. Proper signaling and cautious maneuvering are key. Question 8. How should you adjust your driving in response to heavy rain? A. Keep your usual speed. B. Slow down and increase your following distance. C. Use hazard lights and continue driving. Answer. B. Slow down and increase your following distance. Wet roads can be slippery and require more stopping distance. Question 9. What is the legal protocol for passing a school bus with flashing red lights? A. Pass cautiously on the left. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing. C. Honk to alert students of your approach. Answer. B. Stop until the lights stop flashing. It's illegal to pass a school bus with flashing red lights, indicating children are boarding or alighting. Question 10. How does California law address driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs? A. It's allowed within certain limits. B. It's strictly prohibited and punishable by law. C. Only illegal during daytime hours. Answer. B. It's strictly prohibited and punishable by law. Driving under the influence is a serious offense with severe consequences. Question 11. Explain the importance of the three-second rule in maintaining safe following distances. A. It's the minimum time to react and brake safely. B. It's a suggestion for highway driving only. C. It applies only in adverse weather conditions. Answer. A. It's the minimum time to react and brake safely. The three-second rule helps maintain a safe distance from the vehicle ahead. Question 12. 
What should a driver do if they experience tire blowout while driving? A. Brake hard and pull over immediately. B. Maintain control, slow down gradually, and pull over safely. C. Continue driving to the nearest service station. Answer. B. Maintain control, slow down gradually, and pull over safely. Sudden braking can lead to loss of control. Question 13. How do you handle a situation where an emergency vehicle is approaching while you are in traffic? A. Speed up to clear the path. B. Pull over to the right and stop. C. Continue at the same speed. Answer. B. Pull over to the right and stop. This allows the emergency vehicle to pass safely. Question 14. Describe the steps to take if involved in a minor traffic collision without injuries. A. Leave the scene immediately. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident if necessary. C. Wait for police to arrive regardless of the situation. Answer. B. Exchange information with the other driver and report the accident if necessary. Documentation is important for insurance purposes. Question 15. What should you do when approaching an uncontrolled T intersection? A. Yield to all traffic on the through road. B. The vehicle on the left has the right of way. C. Speed up to cross quickly. Answer. A. Yield to all traffic on the through road. At an uncontrolled T intersection, traffic on the terminating road must yield. Question 16. Explain the right-of-way rules at a four-way stop with no traffic lights. A. The vehicle on the right has the right-of-way. B. The first vehicle to stop should proceed first. C. Larger vehicles go first. Answer. B. The first vehicle to stop should proceed first. If two vehicles arrive simultaneously, the vehicle on the right goes first. Question 17. How should a driver respond to a pedestrian waiting to cross at a marked crosswalk? A. The pedestrian should wait for the vehicle to pass. B. Stop and allow the pedestrian to cross. C. Honk to alert the pedestrian. Answer. B. Stop and allow the pedestrian to cross. Pedestrians have the right of way at marked crosswalks. Question 18. What are the consequences of failing to yield to a pedestrian in a crosswalk in California? A. A warning from authorities. B. Potential fines and points on your driving record. C. No consequences, as pedestrians should be cautious. Answer. B. Potential fines and points on your driving record. Failure to yield can lead to legal penalties. Question 19. Describe the legal procedure for making a left turn at a green light without a turn arrow. A. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, then turn when safe. B. Turn immediately without yielding. C. Wait for a green arrow before turning. Answer. A. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians, then turn when safe. Always yield when the light is green, but without a dedicated turn signal. Question 20. What is the maximum allowable blood alcohol concentration? BC for drivers over the age of 21 in California. A. 0, 5%. B. 0, 8%. C. 0, 10%. Answer. B. 0, 8%. Driving with a BAC of 0, 8% or higher is illegal for drivers over 21 in California. Question 21. What is the appropriate response when approaching a school zone while children are present? A. Continue at the same speed. B. Increase speed to minimize distraction. C. Slow down and obey posted speed limits. Answer. C. Slow down and obey posted speed limits. School zones require reduced speeds for the safety of children. Question 22. How should a driver handle a situation where they have accidentally entered a freeway exit ramp? A. Reverse back onto the freeway. B. Continue to the end of the ramp and then find a safe way back. C. Stop on the ramp and wait for help. Answer. B. Continue to the end of the ramp and then find a safe way back. Reversing or stopping on the ramp can be dangerous. Question 23. 
What steps should a driver take when they see a construction ahead sign on the road? A. Increase speed to pass the area quickly. B. Maintain regular speed unless workers are present. C. Slow down, watch for workers and obey signs. Answer. C. Slow down, watch for workers and obey signs. Construction zones require extra caution and adherence to specific signage. Question 24. Explain the legal requirements for using a carpool, a go v, lane on a California freeway. A. Any vehicle with two or more passengers can use the HOV lane. B. HOV lanes are reserved for buses and motorcycles only. C. Single occupancy vehicles can use AOV lanes at any time. Answer. A. Any vehicle with two or more passengers can use the HOV lane. HOV lanes are designed to encourage carpooling. Question 25. How should a driver react to a flashing yellow traffic light at an intersection? A. Stop completely before proceeding. B. Proceed with caution. C. Treat it as a green light. Answer. B. Proceed with caution. A flashing yellow light indicates the need to be alert and proceed carefully. Question 26. What are the rules for parking near a fire hydrant in California? A. Parking is allowed as long as the vehicle is attended. B. No parking within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. C. Parking is allowed for short durations. Answer. B. No parking within 15 feet of a fire hydrant. This ensures access for emergency services. Question 27. Describe the procedure for safely exiting a freeway. A. Signal and exit the freeway at high speed. B. Slow down significantly before the exit ramp. C. Signal, move to the exit lane, and decrease speed in the deceleration lane. Answer. C. Signal, move to the exit lane, and decrease speed in the deceleration lane. This ensures a safe and smooth exit from the freeway. Question 28. What actions should you take if you encounter a vehicle driving the wrong way in your lane? A. Continue driving in your lane. B. Honk and flash your lights. C. Slow down, move to the right, and stop if necessary. Answer. C. Slow down, move to the right, and stop if necessary. It's important to avoid a head-on collision. Question 29. How should you adjust your driving in response to a road narrow sign? A. Speed up before the road narrows. B. Continue at the same speed. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. Answer. C. Slow down and proceed with caution. A narrowing road can pose additional dragging challenges. Question 30. What is the correct procedure for adjusting your mirrors before starting a trip? A. Adjust them to eliminate all blind spots. B. No adjustment is necessary if they were set previously. C. Adjust so you can see the edge of your car and the road behind. Answer. C. Adjust so you can see the edge of your car and the road behind. Proper mirror adjustment is crucial for visibility. Question 31. Under what conditions is it legal to pass another vehicle on the shoulder of the road? A. When the vehicle ahead is moving too slowly. B. It is never legal to pass on the shoulder. C. In heavy traffic conditions. Answer. B. It is never legal to pass on the shoulder. The shoulder is meant for emergencies, not for passing. Question 32. How does California law regulate the use of headphones or earbuds while driving? A. They are allowed in both ears. B. They can be used in one ear only. C. Their use is completely prohibited. Answer. B. They can be used in one ear only. This allows drivers to remain aware of their surroundings. Question 33. What is the recommended following distance on a highway during clear weather conditions? A. 2 seconds. B. 3 to 4 seconds. C. 1 second. Answer. B. 3 to 4 seconds. A following distance of 3 to 4 seconds provides a safe stopping distance. Question 34. Describe the procedure for safely backing up your vehicle on a busy street. A. Reverse quickly and rely on mirrors. B. 
Avoid reversing, turn around instead. C. Check all mirrors and blind spots, then back up slowly. Answer. C. Check all mirrors and blind spots, then back up slowly. It's important to be cautious and aware of surrounding traffic. Question 35. What should a driver do if their vehicle's accelerator becomes stuck while driving? A. Keep driving to the nearest mechanic. B. Turn off the engine immediately. C. Shift to neutral, apply the brakes, and steer to a safe area. Answer. C. Shift to neutral, apply the brakes, and steer to a safe area. This helps regain control and stop the vehicle safely. Question 36. How should a driver use their headlights when driving in urban areas at night? A. Use high beams for better visibility. B. Low beams are sufficient in urban areas. C. Headlights are not necessary in well-lit urban areas. Answer. B. Low beams are sufficient in urban areas. They provide enough visibility without blinding other drivers. Question 37. Explain the concept of right-of-way when dealing with pedestrians at crosswalks without traffic signals. A. Pedestrians must yield to vehicles. B. Pedestrians have the right-of-way. C. Vehicles have the right-of-way. Answer. B. Pedestrians have the right-of-way. Drivers must yield to pedestrians at all crosswalks. Question 38. What are the steps to take if your vehicle's brakes fail while driving? A. Pump the brake pedal, use the emergency brake, and downshift to a lower gear. B. Stop the car by colliding with a soft object. C. Continue driving until the car stops on its own. Answer. A. Pump the brake pedal, use the emergency brake, and downshift to a lower gear. These steps can help reduce speed safely. Question 39. What is the legal speed limit in a California residential area, unless otherwise posted? A. 25 miles per hour. B. 35 miles per hour. C. 20 miles per hour. Answer. A. 25 miles per hour. The default speed limit in residential areas is 25 miles per hour, unless otherwise posted. Question 40. Describe the legal obligations when making a right turn onto a street with a bike lane. A. Yield to bicyclists in the bike lane before turning. B. Bicyclists must yield to turning vehicles. C. Ignore the bike lane and turn when convenient. Answer. A. Yield to bicyclists in the bike lane before turning. Drivers must ensure the bike lane is clear before making a right turn. Question 41. How should a driver proceed when encountering a flashing red traffic light at an intersection? A. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. B. Slow down and proceed without stopping. C. Treat it as a yield sign. Answer. A. Stop completely, then proceed when safe. A flashing red light is treated like a stop sign. Question 42. Under what circumstances is it legal to make a right turn at a red light in California? A. After a complete stop and ensuring it is safe to proceed. B. Only during daylight hours. C. Right turns on red are never allowed. Answer. A. After a complete stop and ensuring it is safe to proceed. Right on red is permitted unless otherwise posted. Question 43. What are the requirements for using a carpool, HOV? Lane on a California freeway during non-peak hours. A. No restrictions during non-peak hours. B. Minimum two passengers required at all times. C. Only electric vehicles are allowed. Answer. B. Minimum two passengers required at all times. HOV lanes have specific occupancy requirements regardless of the time of day. Question 44. How does the three-second rule assist in maintaining a safe following distance? A. Ensures enough time to react and stop safely. B. It's the minimum required distance by law. C. Only applies in adverse weather conditions. Answer. A. Ensures enough time to react and stop safely. This rule helps maintain a safe distance from the vehicle ahead. Question 45. 
explain the rules regarding yielding to transit buses re-entering traffic in California. A. Yield to buses when they signal to merge. B. Buses must always yield to other traffic. C. No need to yield to buses. Answer. A. Yield to buses when they signal to merge. This rule facilitates smoother traffic flow and public transportation efficiency. Question 46. What actions should a driver take when approaching a T-intersection with no visible traffic signs or signals? A. Yield to traffic on the through road. B. The right-of-way belongs to the driver at the T-intersection. C. Proceed without stopping. Answer. A. Yield to traffic on the through road. Drivers at a T-intersection must yield to traffic on the continuing road. Question 47. How should a driver adjust their driving in response to a sudden hailstorm? A. Maintain the same speed. B. Pull over safely and wait until visibility improves. C. Use high beams for better visibility. Answer. B. Pull over safely and wait until visibility improves. Hail can reduce visibility and create hazardous driving conditions. Question 48. What is the appropriate action if you are involved in a minor traffic collision with no injuries? A. Drive away from the scene. B. Move the vehicle to a safe place and exchange information with the other driver. C. Wait for the police to arrive before moving your vehicle. Answer. B. Move the vehicle to a safe place and exchange information with the other driver. It's important to clear the traffic and exchange necessary details. Question 49. Describe the legal obligations when making a right turn onto a street with a bike lane. A. Yield to bicyclists before turning. B. Bicyclists should yield to turning vehicles. C. Ignore the bike lane and proceed with the turn. Answer. A. Yield to bicyclists before turning. Drivers must check for bicyclists in the bike lane before turning right. Question 50. How should a driver react when a traffic officer directs them to do something which is ordinarily illegal? A. Follow the officer's instructions. B. Ignore the instructions and follow usual traffic laws. C. Stop and argue with the officer. Answer. A. Follow the officer's instructions. Drivers should always comply with instructions given by traffic officers. Question 51. What are the rules for turning left at an intersection when facing oncoming traffic? A. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. B. Oncoming traffic should yield to you. C. Proceed with the turn without yielding. Answer. A. Yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. You must wait for a safe gap in oncoming traffic before turning. Question 52. Explain the importance and legal requirements of the move over law in California. A. Move over a lane for stopped emergency vehicles, if safe to do so. B. This law only applies on freeways. C. The law requires slowing down but not moving over. Answer. A. Move over a lane for stopped emergency vehicles, if safe to do so. This law aims to protect emergency responders working on the road. Question 53. What should a driver do upon realizing they are going the wrong way on a one-way street? A. Continue until you find a place to turn around. B. Reverse your direction immediately. C. Pull over and turn around safely. Answer. C. Pull over and turn around safely. It's important to correct the mistake without endangering yourself or others. Question 54. How does California law address the use of mobile devices while driving? A. Unrestricted use is allowed. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. C. Use at stoplights is acceptable. Answer. B. Only hands-free use is permitted. This law aims to reduce distractions while driving. Question 55. Describe the correct response to an amber, yellow, traffic light that turns on just as you are approaching an intersection. A. Accelerate to avoid stopping. B. Stop if it is safe to do so, otherwise proceed with caution. C. Ignore and continue as if it's green. Answer. B. 
Stop if it is safe to do so, otherwise proceed with caution. The yellow light is a warning that the light will soon turn red. Question 56. What are the guidelines for safe driving in areas where wildlife crossing is frequent? A. Drive faster to scare away animals. B. Be extra vigilant and ready to stop. C. Wildlife crossings do not affect driving. Answer. B. Be extra vigilant and ready to stop. Drivers should be cautious in areas known for wildlife activity. Question 57. How should a driver handle a situation where their view is blocked at a stop sign? A. Proceed with caution without stopping. B. Slowly inch forward until you have a clear view. C. Honk and proceed. Answer. B. Slowly inch forward until you have a clear view. Caution is essential when visibility is restricted. Question 58. Explain the steps to follow if your vehicle is involved in a hit-and-run accident. A. Chase the fleeing vehicle. B. Try to note the fleeing vehicle's details and report to the police. C. Leave the scene as well. Answer. B. Try to note the fleeing vehicle's details and report to the police. Accurate reporting is important for investigation and insurance purposes. Question 59. What is the legal requirement for drivers when a transit bus is signaling to re-enter traffic? A. Yield to the bus. B. The bus should yield to you. C. No specific rules apply. Answer. A. Yield to the bus. This helps facilitate the flow of public transportation. Question 60. How should a driver respond to a school bus stopped ahead sign? A. Prepare to stop and watch for children. B. Ignore the sign if no bus is visible. C. Increase speed to pass the area quickly. Answer. A. Prepare to stop and watch for children. This sign warns of potential stops and children crossing the road. 